Howdy ho there, people. Uh, I'm in beautiful Spain, working. Uh, by the time you see this video, I'll probably be back, but uh, I didn't wanna skip my intro for all my YouTube fans. So this video has got some things not to do in it. <laughs> You'll enjoy it, trust me. Maybe as much as I've enjoyed Spain. So sometimes you force dive it, and you shouldn't. It's too rough. It's too windy, um, too much current, but you convince yourself that you can overcome all of that and because you really want to go diving. When you do, generally bad things happen. <laughs> this video has a lot of those, so we're, so we're going to watch them. So just a day before this, Rob was telling me how much he loves this springy little cord on his, on his spear gun. And how awesome it was and how I should move over to it. Well, that sounds great unless, well, this happens. <laughs> oh, that is a mess, man. We'll just skip all of him trying to sort that out and meet you on the bottom. So you can look, if you're paying attention here, at how quickly this current is running. The instant that Rob or Fred let off their scooter, uh, you know, they're moving backwards. You, you really can't make any, hardly any forward progress at all uh, without a scooter. Andy's back there struggling, just trying to make the ledge. Uh, it was pulling the buoy underwater on the surface uh, that we use. When the current's running that hard, it is very, very difficult to hunt. Uh, unless you're going to drift with it uh, simply because you know it's, try, it's hard to line up on a fish when you're you know you're moving uh, at a velocity that that you can hardly swim against and continue my thing of things that you should not do and you should know better <laughs> Rob is frustrated here because there's no fish, so he starts shooting line fish with a spear gun. Uh, no line keeper. Um, ironically, this is a man who uh, got stung <laughs> badly, <laughs> and he swore he would never do that again. So, uh, but he's doing it now. You should know better, Mr. Penn. So I understand the drive to want to kill that thing. That thing is a stud. Look how big that line fish is. And it is tasty. But man, that thing is way too close to your face. <laughs> I see a stinging in your future. This will give you an idea of the current. Look at that bubble trail. How fast those bubbles are moving. That's how fast the current's running. It's hard for you to tell when you're on the bottom when the viz is this good, but I mean, look at that. That is crazy. Again, look at this current. Uh, check out uh, Fred's fins being pushed backwards. I think the only reason he's able to stay on the bottom is because his scooter sucked on a rock. Um, that current, man, it was just brutal.
we're not going to jump onto the line, right? We're going to do our deco on our own bottles. Yeah. Okay. Remember that, Rob. We're not. We're not jumping on the boat line. Right. You don't need you to put it down. The equipment line down. No. Okay. We're going to stay on the buoy until we come up. Go, Con. Go, CC. So we didn't shoot any fish on this ledge. In fact, we only saw one scant that it was even a possibility. But I left this video in here just to kind of show you the bottom. It was really, really neat looking. Um, no real life on it to collect any fish, uh, but it's like a moonscape. I think this area is just, uh, you know, we're, we're kind of close to the Gulf Stream, and it just gets scoured by, you know, by the current all the time. And it just so nothing can kind of hold on to these rocks. It's crazy. I mean, it's just there's no life on it. But it looked like a moonscape. There's big little like mushroom rocks later on, and it was just weird. Very odd bottom. So all this, you know, bottom was like scoured, like you see it there. But there was this one hole up on, on top there. Uh, and you can see where all the sand's been getting pushed up and onto the ledge. You can, so that shows you how much current there usually is in this spot. But if you look in here, man, if Rob Penn had saw this on his dive, he would have loved it. I mean, look how many big, huge lionfish are down there. He would have went to town on that. Hey Fred, how many guns? Right here? Yeah. After you roll or now? No, I roll it. Huh? You need to show me how to do that because I hit myself in the face when I tried it. Ah! I don't know if you could tell what just happened, but I actually fell off the side of the boat. <laughs> I snatched at my gun out of Fred's hand as I was falling backwards. It looked like I meant to do it, but I really did. So we finally figured out that we need to come in, right? It's we're we're fighting a lunar tide and a Gulf Stream and other factors to drop, make that current. Uh, just be ridiculous offshore. So we finally came to our senses and came in a little bit and got away from that nasty current. And then we actually started having a decent day. <laughs> I love this right here. Uh, I got both hands underneath this rock trying to uh, snatch this grouper out and Cece looks at me and says, are you okay? How am I supposed to answer you, Cece? <laughs> So I tried to get this lobster right after I shot that fish and of course I tear off one antenna and I said well I'll just chase you down I've got a scooter man unless of course you go in the exact same hole that I shot the grouper in that's all clouded up that I never be able to find you except then. 
So you'll see right here, uh, CC spooks out uh, this grouper and he starts shooting around. There he is. And I'm telling you, man, he was steadily. The thing was a lot bigger than it looks like right there because he's so far away. It's hard to forget how, tell us how big he was. But man, he was steadily. I chased that thing. It, I wasted a whole lot of time trying to chase him down with my scooter. That ain't ever going to happen. Don't ever try to do that. Not going to work. So I edit a lot of this out simply because it took me a long time to get this lobster out of this out of this crack, right? Uh, but it was good technique. I worked hard, kept working on it, got him out. Uh, that was good technique. Unlike the next one. So I'm up above right here, and you can see AK slimy lobster down there that I I got just a second ago. And there's a big guy, almost the same size, directly underneath him. I waste so much time trying to get reoriented uh, because I kind of spun around as I came down. And I just waste so much time that he eventually was like, well, uh, if you're not coming down here, I'm going to mosey on back up into my little hole. And I just wasted, completely wasted that opportunity. <laughs> So CC shot a big hog right there, but it pulled off, and now he's trying to figure out where it went. ask me all the time would be why do you how do you come up with the names of your your videos or your spots your locations well you can clearly see that that lobster right there's got a tape cable tie on it and a stringer so he is attached uh, but then I come over here and right there he wiggles out because he's slimy uh, thus the name slimy lobster ledge <laughs> Oh, 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 oh,
Slimy lobster got out. Oh, he got away? Yeah, he do. He ripped my bag. 